for a push up, what you want to do is start off with your hands underneath your shoulders or just outside of them, and also your feet stretched out, elongated, so you're in a fully stretched position. From there, you should have your abs tight, quads flexed, glutes squeezed tight. That's just going to lock out any pot potentiation for your lower back extending and getting any lower back pain there. From there, if you want to engage the upper back more, what you want to do is try and think about spreading your hands and fingers and pushing the ground apart, trying to friction the part. That's going to get your upper back more um, tighten and engaged, and it's actually going to help people who have shoulder pain. If you want to engage the chest a bit more, what you would do is try and do the opposite and squeeze your hands in together and try and pull the earth in um, towards the midline of your chest and that will actually get more chest fiber recruitment um, when it comes to the muscle gain. From there what you want to do is when you lower yourself, lower yourself under control, elbows at 45 degrees in both cases, lower yourself so every segment of your body is equally um, lowering self to the ground. So what I mean by that is your chest, your abdominals, your hips, your head are all coming down at the same uh, uh, duration, I should say. If that's uh, the same length of time it should take to get to the ground. So you shouldn't see your chest fall and hit the ground first, nor should you see your hips or your belly button first. What you want to see is all segments of the body hitting the ground at the same time or just above the ground and then you're going to push yourself away again if you want more chest you're going to squeeze your hands in if you want to protect your shoulders a bit what you want to do is squeeze the ground apart and you're going to feel a bit more upper back there so keep that in mind don't extend for your back and don't let your hips fall first or your head or your chest just let them all sink to the ground and pull yourself slowly to the ground at the same time with all those segments